What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Young Dub, coming at y'all with another video here. Just doing a quick little update for the channel, man. Uh, last night, I did do an unboxing on some DS18 Pro EXL uh, 6.5-inch speakers. Uh, when I did that box unboxing video, I told y'all, hey, man, <laughs> I'm the type of dude I need some grills uh, for my speakers just to make sure that they're protected uh, due to the fact that, uh, like I said, my work boots have kind of been in and out the car quickly, so I've been scraping up against the PRV grills, uh, almost cleaning those on a daily basis. Um, and like I said, and just in general, just trying to protect my speakers and whatnot, man. Uh, we spent a lot of money on this stuff. Don't want it to go down by the wayside just due to the fact that somebody was careless or, you know, any type of thing might have happened. Foot in the door or, you know, leaning out the door. Anything could happen, you know, so... Instead of that happening, man, I decided to go ahead and run it back again uh, with these DS18 Pro speaker grills. Uh, have y'all seen last year in the Tahoe that I had? I had the white grills with the speakers in there. This time around should be red. However, take a look at this. This is how they came shipped. And yes, I went back on my own word and ordered these from Big Jeff Online. Uh, but it is what it is as long as they came uh, good to go here and I guess I'll have to do some more cutting uh, because they take they take them to kingdom come but uh, that still doesn't mean that they're good to go as far as um, all the abuse that they take coming from I believe Ocala is, is that how you say it Ocala Florida all the way up to Nebraska uh, but looks like these came out pretty good here get this out the plastic yeah, so good deal there. So these are my DS18 speaker grills. I got them in red this time. Uh, let me move that one out the way and try to take a look at this one. All right, yeah, so we're good there. So no harm, no foul. Uh, looks like they came in completely intact, uh, which is good in my book because uh, um, right now I still have the PRV uh, MB40 speakers out there. Is it the, yeah, yeah, MB for mid bass. So the MB Forte 550 uh, FT Forte speakers are still in the car right now. Uh, did want to get the DS18 speakers installed last night. That was not happening uh, due to the fact that I had to make some uh, some runs earlier today uh, for my company. So, but we got that done and we're back at the house. So let's get this unboxing going. All right, so we'll check out these here. And yeah, so like I said, man, I'm not gonna complain everything, uh, as long as everything came intact and it appears that, it, that they did. Uh, so no harm, no foul. Uh, just I, me personally, I wouldn't take the risk of just sending something in a product box. Um, Cause you never know what could happen during that shipping. There's a lot of stuff that can happen. Uh, they go through a lot of terminals and whatnot man so it looks like we're good so we got four speaker grills uh, might not be anything too exciting to people uh but i figured you know why the hell not just do a quick video on this right here uh due to the fact that anything i, I get in I might as well do an unboxing on it and just shoot the video uh because like i said the main reason for everything here is going to be for these here so four speaker grills for the DSAT ESL speakers, man. So stick around. Um, like I said, I got a giveaway coming up. I kind of wanted to do that in this video here, but I think I'll do it maybe in the next one. Just depends on um, what I get in and what I feel like unboxing. Like I said, I still got stuff around here that I need to get to, and we will do that sooner or later, man. So y'all know the deal. Any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. I try to get back to everybody. And yes, we're still doing the budget. 2021. If your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you got to take it, man. It's your boy, Yo Dub. Y'all have a good weekend. I'm out of here.